Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Today we'll be talking about the entire syllabus of phase 1 as well as phase 2 of RBA grade B examination. So in case you're starting your prep now or you want to know about the details of the entire syllabus of both phase 1 as well as phase 2 of the examination, this is the video for you. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates about the videos that I'm going to release which will help you in preparing better for the upcoming RBA examination. RBA syllabus can be broadly defined into phase 1 as well as phase 2. Starting with phase 1, there are a total of 4 sections that you can see on the screen now and these sections are quantitative aptitude, reasoning, general awareness and English. The marks and number of questions that are allocated to all these sections are 80 marks and 80 questions for general awareness, 30 marks and 30 questions for English, 30 marks and 30 questions for quant and 60 marks and 60 questions for reasoning. Sectional cutoff is already being followed in RBA phase 1 but sectional timing has been recently introduced. If you want to know more about sectional timing and how to prepare keeping in mind this change, click on the i card above. Now coming to these sections one by one, general awareness can be divided into two further parts, current affairs and static portion. For both these portions, Spotlight magazine that I release on a monthly basis is more than enough. You can rely on it completely because it is specifically formed for RBA examination only. I've launched ebooks for quant reasoning and English containing more than 600 questions each and you can purchase these books by clicking on the i card above. Coming to phase two of RBI grade B, there are a total of three papers economic and social issues, finance and management, and English. While ESI and finance and management are both objective in nature, English is a descriptive paper. Both ESI and FM contain a total of 65 questions which you have to solve in a total of 90 minutes. 65 questions are divided into two markers and one markers. There are a total of 35 two markers which means 70 marks and a total of 31 markers which means 30 marks which combine and create a question paper of 100 marks. Talking about ESI, almost 70% of the paper comes from current affairs and the remaining 30% is taken from the static portion or the syllabus of ESI. However, if you're not aware about the syllabus or if you don't, do not have command over the syllabus, it will be very difficult for you to cover the current affairs as well. On the screen, you can see the syllabus of ESI. Coming to finance and management, there are a total of 35 questions of 2 marks and 30 questions of 1 marks. The breakup of finance and management is as follows. A total of 45 marks worth of questions are taken directly from the management section. Again, a total of 45 marks worth of questions are asked from two areas combined, finance current affairs as well as finance theory syllabus. And the remaining 10 marks worth of questions are normally asked from finance numerical. So you can see here that the weightage of finance numerical is the least, followed by the weightage of finance theory plus current affairs, followed by the most important part which is the management syllabus. The third and one of the most important areas of phase 2 is English writing. Although it's a dreadful subject because it is descriptive in nature, but it is the most easy to score marks. There are three broad sections in English descriptive. Number one, essay writing, which is normally of 40 marks. Number two, pressy writing, which is normally of 30 marks. And number three, comprehension writing, which is also of 30 marks. If you consistently write one essay per week for the next six to seven months, this is the most scoring subject for you. Please keep in mind that phase one is completely qualifying in nature and the marks of phase two and your interview are combined together to create a final list. Phase 2 contains a total of 300 marks and phase 3 which is the interview contains a total of 50 marks. So the entire cutoff is created out of 350 marks. The eligibility criteria of this examination is very strict. If you want to know more about the eligibility, click on the i card above. If you are a serious aspirant for RBI and related examinations and want to study more for the upcoming RBI and other examinations, click on the subscribe button below and also do not forget to press the bell icon to get regular updates about my future videos. All the very best, take care.